Yara, welcome to Charlotte, man. How are you? Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. All good. All good. Thanks. It's really good to be here. Could I, could, could I get you to um, say your name just so we have you saying it so I can make sure that uh, we're saying it correctly? Yeah, so you can just say Yere Uronen uh, or so, something like that. It's even difficult for me to say it while, while I speak English, so no, no stress. That's uh, okay. Um, you see what my last name is, so enough people have trouble with it, so I, uh, I have a particular sensitivity to that. Um, from what Zoran said, uh, your deal came about pretty quickly. Take us through what it was like going through the process in terms of, I guess, letting the folks at Charlotte FC know you were available and ultimately signing here and, and coming over here. Yeah, it did go. It did go really, really quick. Uh, I think I got a first call from uh, from my agents the uh, Monday morning around ten o'clock, and then uh, by the by the end of the next day, we already signed the papers. So it it did it did go by extremely fast, and uh, yeah, I'm really happy that we 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 got it done. Uh, that's that's for me something that's that's really. Make, making me happy and that I get to be here now. But it was a little bit different compared to what I've been through before. Because, uh, yeah, we knew we were also fighting against the clock because the window was closing in. And uh, after after speaking with uh, with a lot of people here, speaking with my family, we got really excited about the opportunity. And and we, we knew that we want to we wanna make it happen. And uh, luckily we did. What were the conversations like in terms of whether it was talking to players, talking to you know, people with the club, but what did they sell you on and what ultimately made you want to come play for Charlotte FC? It's the full package, you know, obviously as a footballer, the the sportive side is the most important, you know, I think they have a really, really nice project going on here. Uh, it's a club with a lot of ambition, you know, they they, they know where they want to be in, uh, in, a, in a few months, in a year, two years. Uh, so it's really clear, uh, you know, what we want to do as a club and uh, that's something that really intrigued me, you know, the the, the ambition here. And uh, but obviously, you know, when you're a father of two and uh, you you're a family of four, it's the the full package that that also matters a lot. And uh, for for us, this just sounded like a perfect place to be in, you know, with the family. And uh, yeah, it was just no no negative sides uh, except the travel from Europe. Was America ever a, uh, a goal of yours, or was it something that just kind of, as a result of circumstance, kind of became part of your goals? Uh, the latter, I think. I never really thought that I would be playing here, uh, to be to be honest. Uh, I've always yeah, enjoyed European football, uh, but like I, like I just said, you know, the, the full package uh, was just, yeah, really intriguing. It, it, it sounded sounded like something that you know will be perfect sportive side and and also also outside the pitch lastly for me um christian's always talked about wanting very technical fullbacks uh, especially pinch in out in the midfield how do you feel like this lends itself to your skill set uh yeah i mean uh, it's it's something new for me as well uh but I do, I do like to to be involved, uh, you know, whether it's high up on the pitch on the outside or, or uh, higher or lower in the inside. You know, we've uh, I've played a lot of different styles, uh, uh, so I think you know it's gonna be it's gonna be fun for me. Also, of course, I need to find my position, you know, where I'm gonna feel comfortable, etc. But. Uh, the the staff makes it really clear for us. You know, it's it's easy as a new player. I see now after a week, it's really easy for me to come in because everything is really organized and they help you with that. And then it's just about the details that you know, you you give for yourself uh, on the on the pitch. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Uh, good luck this season, and uh, glad to have you in Charlotte. Thank you. All right, Jorge. Yeah, then welcome to Charlotte. Thank you. Uh, first question is, uh, I'm not sure if anyone's mentioned it or not, but will you be available for selection this Saturday against LAFC? Uh, what I've understood, yes. I hope so. Uh, but I'm, uh, I'm spending my week like I'm, I'm available on Saturday, so hopefully, yeah. 
Okay, perfect. And then my next question is, you're coming into a back line in the MLS that's allowed the most goals, 40 goals in 23 matches. What are some of the things that maybe you're talking to Latanjo, the coaching staff, on how to improve that defensive line? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, conceding goals, it's always a team effort. Uh, it's the same way when, when we score the goals, you know, it's always all 11. But of course, as a defender, your when you go into a game, your your main goal is to to keep the clean sheet, and that way you give your team a chance to win the game. Uh, but yeah, like I said before, you know the staff here is really clear with what they want, and uh, then uh, then it's up for us players to to execute it. And of course, you know the the coaches and the staff they can give you how many, though how much help. Uh, or as much help as they can, but it's still up to the players, you know, on the field to 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 execute and, and play play the game how the game it develops and, and goes on. So, so yeah, uh, it's about now to to you know go with the mentality that we're not gonna concede because I know we have the quality to score in every game and uh, and from that on, you know, we we keep on working and building. Nice. And then last for me is you spoke about the ambition that the club wants to have long term. This second season hasn't gone great. The team's six points off of a uh, playoff spot, 12 from a regular playoff spot. So I think a wild card, six, 12 regular playoff spots. What's, from a football standpoint, what is the ambition that Charlotte sold you on or the vision that they cast that makes you believe that this team can turn things around long term? Well, obviously, you know, first of all, when I looked at the group, uh, I see a lot of quality here. And I know I know it's a good team full of good players, you know, not only 11, but everyone who was in the locker room. Uh, so, you know, we're going to push each other to, to get better. And that's going to that's gonna bring us also better results on the on the pitch. But, you know, it's uh, everyone wants to be winners here and, uh, and uh, they, they have the plan plan to do so uh, and I, I know I know it, it's possible so that's like I just felt like I could also bring some help for it uh, to to be a part of that because uh, I don't know the, the specifics like the specific plan but just every every talk I had you know with uh, whether it was the coach or, or some other staff member or, or even the players you know it was the same vision vision more or less and that's uh, that's something that we we're gonna build towards now and like you said you know we are some points away from the from the playoff spot at the moment but there's still plenty of games and you know the the beauty here is the playoffs you know, as long as you get in you have a chance to win and uh, that, that's the mentality we have thank you great let's go to Steve Goldberg hi uh, welcome to Charlotte um, Wanted to ask about: Are you still engaged with the uh, Finnish national team? You played quite a bit for them. Yeah. Will you be? Uh, uh, are they? Are you open to selection for them for any upcoming Nations League or uh, Euro qualification matches? Yeah. So far, we we are right in the middle of our European qualifiers now. Uh, I think we're almost half. No, we're four games in, six to go. We're gonna play the rest now: September, October, November. So obviously those are really, really big games for us. We're at the top of the group at the moment and uh, we really want to reach the, the European Championship. And uh, so, so yeah, of course, of course I'm going to be available there as well. Uh, there's plenty of guys from our national team playing, playing in the MLS. So, uh, you know, that already shows that it's, uh, it's not an obstacle uh, to, to play there and, uh, and uh, yeah. Yeah, well, it's, it's not so much an obstacle, but it can interrupt, uh, you know, club team uh, continuity going into those things. But that's part of the the international game and getting international players on your squad. Uh, and secondly, um, I know you've played in Sweden and Helsingborg and in other things. Uh, there, there are quite a lot of Scandinavian players uh, making their mark uh, on the larger international scene right now. And I was just wondering if there's a, a collective Scandinavian pride or do the national rivalries override that? So, you know, when you have like one of the best strikers in the world coming from Norway now is 
Is that something that Scandinavians can take pride in as a whole, or is he still or Norwegian and, and you know you got Finns and Swedes and such and Danes? Yeah, well, if I really want to be nitpicking, Finland is not part of Scandinavia. <laughs> but we can, okay. we can let that be. I was wondering if you were going to go there. <laughs> yeah, no, because to be honest, I learned it like two years ago. I always thought that we were part of it. So for me, we are always part of it. But uh, no, I think, uh, you know, for me, who's coming from Finland, I'm always extremely happy when I see fellow Scandinavians doing really well. Uh, of course, we have our own little rivalry with Sweden. They're, they're always our like big brother and we're the little brother there. So whenever we play against Sweden, it's like, you know, you have this little extra there. Uh, but still, you know, obviously I do speak Swedish and Norwegian as well. So every time I've had, uh, I've had some teammates from Sweden, Norway or even Denmark, it's, you know, you just kind of connect with them directly because the cultures are so similar. And, you know, I don't know, you just you just connect directly. So Probably 90% of my good friends that I've met throughout my career are also from uh, from from yeah, Scandinavia. So, yeah, you could say that it's like, it's not one big country, but somehow, some way, we are a little bit more connected. Okay, we'll just have to figure out where to get the year toast in Aquavit uh, and stuff. But welcome to town. Look forward to seeing you play. Thank you so much. Great, thank you, Steve. Um, we've just got Caleb Adams here in person, um, so we'll just finish up with him with uh, one or two questions in person, and we'll wrap this up. Yeah, just two questions from me. Uh, first of all, what can fans expect from you as a player, as a person? Well, these are always the most difficult ones for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, when you're a footballer, the only, only thing you can promise is that you leave everything out on the pitch every time you step on it. You know, you're going to do whatever it takes for, for the badge, you know, to, to win the games. And that's that's always like my mentality. Uh, it's impossible to promise goals or whatever. But uh, yeah, that's that's gonna be, that's always like me, me, you know, in a nutshell, just uh, no matter how tired you are, no matter if you're not hitting your passes at that moment, you know, if you have this five, 10 minute drought, uh, you're just gonna leave everything you have on the pitch. Great. And uh, my second question is, I'm sure you've sent You've seen some of the fans in town here. I'm sure you've seen some footage of games. How excited are you to play in front of the fans this weekend, potentially? Extremely. And I actually heard also that the upper sec section will be open. Uh, That's right. Yeah. So, yeah, I got really, really excited about that. You know, I've, I've been at the stadium when it's it's empty and, you know, just started imagining it full. And uh, hopefully I get to experience it soon.